Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. In this video, I'll show you how to lock apps on your Samsung Galaxy device. So now you can go ahead and put an extra lock on specific apps using Shortcut Maker and Samsung's built-in security tool. So each time you or anyone else tries to open the app, it'll require a fingerprint, pin, or face unlock. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Play Store. We'll go ahead and search for an app called Shortcut Maker. Go ahead and download this. Now, once downloaded, you wanna go ahead and choose open. And here we'll go ahead and choose an app. So let's just say, for example, the gallery app. So you wanna go ahead and make sure your gallery app is password protected. So you don't want anyone to open it apart from you. So we'll go ahead and choose gallery. We'll go ahead and leave the name as it is, the icon as it is as well, and we'll go ahead and create a shortcut. So this is the shortcut we'll create. Now a gallery app shortcut has been created, as you can see there. Now, the next thing is if you press home, we already have a shortcut here. So now when we go ahead and press this, this will open up a gallery. However, we want to go ahead and hide this shortcut. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and tap on settings. Now next, I'll go ahead and scroll down and find hide apps on home and app screen. Here, I'll go ahead and find the gallery app and I'll hide that tap done and press home. So now the gallery app is hidden. However, the shortcut gallery is still there. So we can go ahead and open up gallery from there as normal. Now the next step is to go back into shortcut app. Now we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and find shortcut lock. So we're gonna go ahead and lock this with our fingerprints or pin. So turn this feature on. Now next you're gonna go ahead and tap on create shortcut like that. Now we go ahead and try to open it. It'll basically ask you to use your pin or fingerprint. Once you do this, then gallery app will open up. So privacy is priceless. This feature ensures sensitive apps like banking, gallery, email, or notes remain inaccessible to prying eyes, even if your phone is unlocked or borrowed. So parents can also use this feature to block access to certain apps when handing the phone to kids. So it gives you a peace of mind knowing your personal data stays safe without having to install additional security apps. So there you go guys, that is how to lock apps on your Samsung Galaxy device. If you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to become a part of the Simple Dad community. Hit the like button if you find this video useful.